today I'm going to talk about how I grew my hair out over the past couple months. Some of you were asking in some of my previous videos where you saw like, whoa, 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 you just cut all your hair off. Well, how's it already that long again? So I'm just going to go over some things that I've done over the past couple months and I actually did not measure my hair or do any like hair growth length checks because I didn't care this time around and it seems like the fact that I didn't care this time around my hair is just kind of flourishing oh, and make sure you go to our website we have a new website and it's a beautiful community thank you to all of you who are over there commenting and sharing all of these tips and you can search for naturals based on their hair goals you can search for naturals based on their hair types and descriptions the city the state so you can find naturals near you and um let's talk about some of our hair goals for 2016 over there at mynaturalsisters.com and let me know your hair goals down below in the comment section because 2016 i'm gonna have some different hair goals i am definitely growing my hair out i think i look better with longer hair you see how long my hair got oh well, yeah, oh, you, you already know this is a protective style, which is something else. Oh no, oh no. This is something else I'm gonna be doing in 2016. More protective styling. Um, definitely growing my hair out because I think I look better with longer hair. For my round face, they got a little chubby because I gained some weight. That's another thing. That's another challenge is a weight loss challenge that's coming up in January as well. January 11th, we are doing another diet bet. But let's get back to this hair challenge growing out your hair if you're growing out your hair want healthier hair comment let me know down below what are your plans and i'm gonna tell you what i did so since april when i got my heat damage cut off my hair was so short i felt like even um my stylist she's like oh i feel like i'm giving you a big chop and i'm like Ooh. but yeah i didn't want to have to get my hair cut at that point i'd already had my hair cut a couple times around this time last year i had just got it cut in like this bob shape where it was still top heavy and then I went and had to get all the top cut off. So now I was back to where I had started. And I didn't like it. But um, anywho, let me give you these tips. So first thing is I'm going to start with styles. What did I do? I wore a lot of twist outs. I went back to basics. I um, wore twist outs and I didn't do it just because I was like, oh, twist outs are going to make my hair grow and retain length. No, I didn't have a lot of time on my hands because I'm a teacher. And I would wear my twist outs and I would pull them up in that little half puff i have a tutorial i will link that down below like um how to fake a puff or something when your hair is short so i would do that for most of the week and what that pretty much led to is like my hair was not on my shoulders it wasn't brushing against anything which i think helped with length retention because my ends were they weren't necessarily tucked away but they were pulled up away from everything else so i think the twist outs with the puff definitely help but this puff again I'll show you the tutorial there wasn't a lot of tension it's literally like a little elastic headband and I just kind of pull it up and manipulate it and I pick it out to where it looks like a puff so there's not a lot of tension on my edges or a lot of pulling around my edges or anything like that so I think that definitely helped with me retaining length and on to this style which is the next tip is protective styling. I definitely believe in protective styling to retain length, but I believe you should let your hair and scalp breathe. I guess you could say. So I did protective styling for about, I want to say six to eight weeks. And after that, I don't think I did it again. I wore my wig sometimes. I wore my wig here and there. But I did Senegalese twists back in April and I kept them in forever. I kept them in for like two years. No, did them back in April and I kept them in for, I want to say anywhere from six, maybe six, seven weeks or eight. I don't know. Kept them in a really long time. And my hair felt like it had grew so much when I took them out. And, but it took so long to do them and I won't be doing them again because it took like eight hours or something. It felt like a million years. But um, yeah, this is the alternative. Look, they look the same, but they're crochet and they took a quarter of the time. They took like two hours thank you mama so i am definitely going to try the shorter ones and some different protective styles but i'll give my hair a break in between the styles so definitely protective style carmen protective styles a lot more than i do and her hair is growing out beautifully a lot of you are like how does carmen hair grow so quick and she cuts it off like every month but yeah she does way more twists and protective styling wigs and things like that than i do and 
her hair is growing out great so um if you're doing protective styling great but i do believe in giving your hair a break in between the styles and not keeping it under wigs and weaves too much but um which leads me to my next thing is to actually have a regimen for your hair and that is something that changed during this time period my regimen did change and the thing is stick with that regimen um first of course you have to find out what works for you and my regimen changed because i don't do the breakdown method where i'm uh, shampooing in sections and conditioning in sh sections i don't have time for that anymore it's just like i'm busy i don't have time to do section by section by section i do my sections once i get out of the showers so um i thought that would never work for my hair because it's so thick but i found something that worked for me so i definitely did um not always every week, but pretty much every week I try to um, cleanse my hair with shampoo and deep condition and pre-poo. Those are, those, are, those are three things I um, made sure I did. So pre-poo, I would try to pre-poo Friday nights and wash on Saturdays. But um, sometimes it didn't work, so I would have to pre-poo Saturday morning and then kind of go about my day and then do my wash day. But pre-poo, cleanse and deep condition every week sometimes i would have busy weeks like especially when the school year started and maybe i went every two weeks without shampooing but i did do things in the middle of the week to refresh my hair re-moisturize my hair but definitely have a regimen stick with that and that brings me to my next point within that regimen you need to be stimulating your scalp oh my gosh what have i been doing all these years um ignoring my scalp so a lot of you know that um I've had a very stressful year and a half. I I've talked about this in videos about weight gain and my struggle with the nine to five teaching. Um, yes, I need to lose my weight. I'm not trying to go back to where I was, but it's been kind of hard. And a lot of you know, I did break out and my skin was having a fit on my face and you could see my whole life and I felt ugly and insecure. <laughs> it was, it was, it's been rough. So one of the things I did start treating myself to it back in January when I had my breakouts, I started getting massages at Hand in Stone. And there's an add on you can get, I would get facials and massages cause I was really worried about my face. And I have scoliosis and my back hurts all the time ever since forever. So, and I'm top heavy. So that's a whole nother video. Anywho, back to the massages. There's an add-on called a Peppermint Scalp Massage. If I, boy, leave me on the table. Leave me there for the rest of the night. I am done. I'm having an out-of-body experience. This Peppermint Scalp Massage, when I tell you, because I, especially in the beginning, I was going like two times a month. Some, one month I went like three times, and then maybe once the next month. I was treating myself, y'all. I deserved it. I was working hard. But I had a membership, so it wasn't that too bad. You know, it wasn't too bad, but, um, yeah, definitely stimulating your scalp and I believe everybody deserves a peppermint scalp massage every day, but that can't happen. So what can you do? You can scratch your head. No, it's fine. <laughs> don't, don't use your nails. Don't scratch your head. But um, this little baby right here, a massage brush, this Vanity Planet thing. This right here, it even feels good on my head right now because my hair is sore from this protective style. You know how whenever you get your hair done and you kind of you feel like this and you want it to loosen up finally? I put this on my head last night. But yes, this is not what it's used. You're not supposed to use it for that. But yeah, definitely use this in a shower and when you're shampooing and stuff. Shampoo brush, that's great. That's something you need to do stimulating your scalp, getting the circulation going. Definitely helps promote hair growth. And that's I know that is one thing, those peppermint scalp massages. I was not doing that before. And I started those earlier in the year and when I tell you it's everything and to my final point products and things you use so that's a tool I use another tool I use is what you see in like every video my detangling brush Felicia Leatherwood my favorite yes you know I use this and I'll tell you I've had a healthy balance with products and tools from using natural products and store-bought I have like I'm not just like oh, I use all juice and dirt and berries and nothing from the store no you already know that um, but I do have staples and I only have like three that I'm probably not giving up anytime soon so for my natural staples right now it's aloe vera juice cold aloe vera juice and my heavy oil to seal and I have lots of oils in here, but the main one is castor, avocado, heavy one, some olive oil because olive oil is cheaper than lots of them. So it fills up most of the bottle and um, some jojoba and some other stuff and some other stuff. 
and those are my natural ones that I'm not giving up I use those during my uh, wash process and this deep conditioner you saw in my last video um, well one of my last videos yeah I think it was my last hair video my style soothe treatment has really helped me my clear all treatment it's already gone I have to go get some more from Sappy's. but yes this right here this baby helps with detangling because I don't do it in sections anymore um, once I get out of the shower I just kind of put some you saw that in my how I trim my hair video but I'll link that video down below as well how I use that treatment I've used that since August and I'm not letting go of it either so I still need a good cleanser let me know down below some good cleansers because I've just been using what I have shampoo bars different other kind of shampoos so um, let me know keeping your scalp clean and stimulating your scalp that is important let me know if some good cleanser suggestions you may have my conditioner doesn't do what it used to do my Tresemme Naturals it's not the same so I'm looking for another conditioner and I've been playing around with different styling products for twist outs sometimes I only use my oil but I'm um, definitely looking for a nicer shea butter and yeah just some different styling products so I don't have all of my staples yet it's almost like I started over but I'm um, definitely looking for some new staples uh, get your products together know what works for you store-bought and natural if it works for you it works for you okay don't worry about what everybody else is saying because I you know I use what worked for me like my conditioner um, definitely my I would feel different with shampoos um, but I do shampoo I try to shampoo every week get my scalp clean and stimulate my scalp and all of that do not scratch your scalp I think I've already said that with your fingernails and yeah I'm gonna do a regimen video so you can see all of these things but I just had to let you know what I did and I hope this helped you all and let me know what you've done down below and I'll see you guys in my next video I hope you enjoyed my tips and please be sure to watch our latest video which was a giveaway video and also there's Tony's how to protect your hair at the gym video that we recently posted thanks sisters and